Hello, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is working well with your teammates in your performance task for this week that's due tomorrow. Today, we're going to work on your performance task. Um, but before I do that, uh, I'm still missing groups, uh, group or team 13's uh, audio or video from yesterday. So I have edited yesterday's class. I've got everyone's, all, all the group's recordings except for group 13. So group 13, please upload to files, create a folder called week 5. And uh, please put the video or videos in that folder. Okay, once you have done that, I will download and complete yesterday's recording, and then I will upload that recording to our playlist. Uh, I, w I think it's important for you guys to go back and listen to your group. You don't have to listen to all the groups, because the video is going to be rather long. It's going to be a really long video, right? Because it's got everyone's uh, conversations, okay? But I would spend some time going back and listening to what you guys talked about. I tried to edit the video so to remove the spaces where no one's speaking, right? Um, but I did go and listen to what you guys talked about. And I want to encourage all of you, right? I guess actually not encourage. I, I need a favor. I need a favor need a favor from each of you to try to hold each other accountable. Now, what does that mean? To hold each other accountable. What do you think I'm referring to when I say the phrase, to hold someone accountable? What do you think? What does that mean? Any ideas? To hold someone accountable. If I say, I'm going to hold you accountable for doing something, what do I mean? Mm, to help each other. All right, to help each other. Anybody else? To hold someone accountable, what would it? What would be an example of holding one of your teammates accountable in one of your group activities? Anybody have an example of what that would look like? You guys can turn on your videos too. It's it's even if you're not going to say anything, it's nice to see your faces if you want to. Activate your video. I know it's early, but it's okay. We're not going to pass judgment. We, it's, it's all good. What do you think? Holding someone accountable, what does that mean? If it, what would it look like? Have, do you have an example of any interactions you've had with your teammates where you've held each other accountable? We've had a lot of small group activities so far this semester. What does it look like? What's an example? Have you been in a situation where maybe one of your classmates was speaking Spanish and you said really nicely and politely, well, how would you say that in English? Have you had opportunities where you've encouraged your teammates to speak in English instead of in Spanish? If you have, then... You, that's an example of holding your classmates accountable. Politely, 
respectfully asking and helping each other speak in English. Right? Try your best, guys, to hold each other accountable respectfully and politely, nicely, encouraging each other to speak in English. Right? I can't stress enough the importance of speaking as much as possible. Not just in this class. I mean, this is listening and speaking class, but every class that you have in Prope and outside of Prope, if you have opportunities to speak with family or friends in English, take advantage of it. This this time, this Prope year, this we have basically one year. You might think, oh, that's a lot of time. This first year is going to go by so quickly. So our job here is to try to become as familiar and comfortable speaking in English. Do I speak? Do I feel comfortable speaking in Spanish like I, I do speaking in English? No. But do I think about it at the moment that I'm trying to speak? Not really. What am I concentrating on? I'm trying to share a message. I'm trying to communicate an idea, and that's all I'm thinking about. That's all I'm worried about. I'm not worried about how I sound. I'm not worried about if I sound silly or goofy or I use the wrong word. I'm trying to communicate an idea to someone else. You guys are no different. It's the same. Think, what do I need to say to communicate my idea? I don't care if someone else thinks I'm sounding goofy or I miss I, I misspeak or I'm not pronouncing a certain word or right right way. Don't think about all those little little things. It's not important. It shouldn't be important. The sooner that you feel comfortable speaking in English, the more quickly you are to improve your English. Okay? Every moment that you speak Spanish in this class is a moment lost. You can never gain that back. It's gone forever. Right? And you may think, ah, oh, it's just one day, right? Or it's just a couple of minutes. It's a moment lost. All right? So encourage each other. It doesn't matter if I'm there or not. It shouldn't matter. It's not like, oh, I'm going to speak English when my teacher's here, and when he's not here, oh, I'll just speak in Spanish. It's not hurting me, right? I get paid the same. It doesn't affect me one bit. It affects you. So become, I want you to be f comfortable with whatever level of English that you have. I want you to feel comfortable, not because I want you to think, oh, I don't have to improve. Of course, we can all improve. We can all improve the way that we communicate, right? Whether it's Spanish or English, it doesn't matter. We're always improving. We always should try to improve, but don't worry about Sounding silly or making mistakes, really. Today we're going to work in our groups. And I want to speak to those groups who are ready to create your video. If you still need time to work together to develop some ideas about your video, continue working and you let me know if... Number one, you have any questions, right? If you have some doubts or you want to speak to me about uh, your video, if you have some questions. Or number two, you, you feel you're ready as a team to begin working with your video. Now, we have two days basically to finish this assignment, this video. We've been talking about this video for, well, more than two weeks. It's actually been three weeks, but I'm not going to count last week because... We weren't in class. So we've had two weeks 
to think about and discuss and work on this video. I need to know, guys, if, if someone in your team is not doing his share or his part. All right? It's very important. I don't want this to be any stressful than it needs to be. And if someone is not doing their part, then I need to know we need to talk about it as a group, as a team. All right? And so today, I want to give you all the whole class until 940 to work on your projects and you let me know today if we need you know who I need to speak with okay and again I think the easiest is just to jump in and uh, let me know here in um, in this class if internet is a problem <clears throat> if your internet's slow then you can exit this class go ahead and sign out and sign into your group and then come back to the class at 940. All right? It doesn't affect your attendance. All right? When I get when I uh, generate my list, I see who signs in, who signs out, what time you sign in and out. Okay? And so for attendance, I'm just asking that you are here at some point uh, during our class. That's it. Okay? So it doesn't affect your attendance if you exit the class. So if internet or if you have problems connecting or you have low resources, you have low RAM memory, then sign out and sign into your group and then just come back at the end of the class. All right, are there any questions about the video or about the task that we're going to do today? No. I uploaded this uh, this Word document. Please take another look at this document. There are a list of things to consider that I want you to think about when you're creating your video. Okay, so please take a look at this. And um, again, uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. Just jump right in if you have any questions. And... Um, We'll, uh, we'll talk, I'll talk to each group as necessary. Okay, so let's go ahead and break into our groups and we'll come back, the whole group, at 940. Okay, guys, I'm going to upload the Word document. I tried to upload it to the chat, and it looks like it, I was not successful. So I'm going to upload it as a separate document in Microsoft Teams in the general channel. Good morning, guys. Hi, teacher. How are we doing with our group project? Um, good. Um, we have a uh, trouble with the uh, recording because we don't know how, how to upload the in the folder. But I, but we already are doing this. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me show you. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. All right. And okay. Can you see my screen now? Mm, yes, teacher. All right. So when you guys finish your meeting, and this is going to be every time that you create a meeting that you're recording, which is probably all of the meetings, when you finish, you're going to have an option to download the file. So in this case, I guess this is from maybe today. Um, when you start and stop a recording it's going to give you a separate file and it should give you an option to download so if i click on this download button it's going to download the vi the uh the video file to my computer from there i want you to go up to files and i would create in fact it looks like you've already created your folder and you can now upload 
from your computer, you can upload a, a file or a, a folder. We're going to upload a file. And then from here, you can upload your file that you just downloaded from your posts. Okay? Because here, this will expire after 20 days. So we don't want to lose the file. If you download it and then upload it to files and then your folder, then you can you won't have it won't be deleted all right okay okay all right so this will be the same for what we did yesterday the, the activity that we did yesterday and when you create your video for this week for tomorrow you can do the same thing right you can record your meeting practice what you're going to say you can share your screen do you know how to share your screen yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Okay, like I'm doing now, each one of you should be able to share your screen so you can create your video and present whatever it is you want to present from your computer screen. All righty. Okay. okay. All right. Um, is, are there any other questions or do you have some issues working together? Is everyone, does everyone know what to do and is everyone working together? Um, only there is a problem with a partner, Elizabeth. Okay. Um, sometimes she, she's not hearing the call. And, okay. And that's all. She's not working. He, he, she just entered in the uh, video call just one time. All right. And don't speak. Okay. All right, so um, has has she said anything about not being able to connect or? Yeah, she said that, that she have uh, problems with the internet. But in, in the other classes, I think that she, she tampoco entered. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. So let's. Have you talked about who's doing what? Do you know, for example, you two? Do you know what you're going to present, or can you tell me about what what you want to include in your video? Yes, we have the information. We only need to repartirla. Mm -hmm. But we are going to talk about online problems all right um let's do this i'm gonna wh why don't you guys prepare because this is due tomorrow right so we don't have a lot a lot of time left so go ahead and just divide up who's going to say what between the two of you and try to speak at least five minutes in your case since there's only two of you your video is going to be around 10 minutes long, okay? And um, go ahead and, and prepare today and, and, and get as much done as you can today in class. Um, even if you can create the video, what, what, depending on, you know, whatever you can do. But go ahead and uh, just plan on you two creating the video. All right? Okay, and um, I'm going to send an email uh, to your partner and, um, you know, see what's going on with her situation. Okay. 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 If you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know. Are you going, uh, do you feel you're ready to record today to do your presentation or are you going to need more time? Um, we need more time. Okay. All right. Well, um, let me know when you guys are ready to create your video so we can just have another brief conversation just for you to tell me how you want to present your your video and uh, it can be outside of class if you guys are going to plan on meeting outside of class or or we can meet we'll probably have some time tomorrow uh, to discuss this as well okay okay thank you all right guys thank you talk to you later thank you
Hello, Team 5. Are you guys ready to uh, begin creating your video? Hi, teacher. We are ready. All right. Uh, hey, can you tell me how you're going to organize uh, your video? So in the so the introduction is part of data and then I will start we talk about set benches from online classes and problems that the students from OA have and then I will I will tell my experience on one situation that I had with problems with online classes and then um, Daira start her part and then Maricruz tell. Okay, so I I'll go ahead. I speak after Carlos and I have at the end, I am going to tell some up tips to learning online classes. Okay. All right. So, so Carlos, you're gonna introduce a problem, and are you going to also introduce a solution? Oh, mm, so I'm. I, I did a mistake. Oh, Daira, Daira, be, Daira begin um, adventures from online classes, and mm -hmm. then I I tell these adventures, and Maria is gonna be tell the solutions to get a good relation from online classes and don't be stressed. <laughs> All right. So, if I tell me if I understand uh, you correctly, so uh, Daira is going to begin introducing the, the the problem. Is that uh, yes. is that correct? Okay. And and then Carlos, are you going to offer a solution that's related to the problem that Daira introduces? Oh no, I will I will talk from disadvantages from online classes and tell everyone tell everyone in each part of the video will tell um, their hours or experience that we had in online classes are the so carlos are the disadvantages of online classes mm -hmm. is that part of the problem yes Right. So is what you talk about, Carlos, the same or is it different than what Daira is going to introduce in her problem at the beginning of the video? Do you, do you understand the question? Can you repeat, please? All right. So here's here's what i'm asking uh guys i i want you to be really clear on the problem or problems and the solutions and i encourage you to try to focus more on the solutions than on the problem so there are many different ways that you can do this but I want to I want you to think about each of your roles when you create this video. Number 1, are you talking about the problem <clears throat> or number 2, are you talking about a solution or solutions? So I think it's a good idea to reflect, like share your experiences, right? Your opinions on the topic, but I want you to think very clearly on how you want to introduce the problem or the problems, and then how do you want to introduce the solution or the solutions that relate 
to the problem that you've introduced as a team. Now, you can decide who says what. You can decide on who's going to talk about a problem. If you all want to introduce a problem and a solution, each one of you, or if maybe, for example, Daira talks about a problem and then Carlos talks about the solution to that problem and then introduces another problem and then maybe uh, Maria de la Cruz talks about the solution. You know, there's, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. But try to, instead of thinking about advantages and disadvantages, think about problem and the solution. This whole task, this video, should be a solution to some problem, right? In your case, the problem relates to, uh, to you know, learning online. If that's the problem, describe the problem. Talk about what the problem is, when it occurs, why it occurs, how it occurs, maybe with whom, right? Any any details that you want to talk about in the problem. But I would try to focus, again, try to focus more on the solutions, right? You want to help, uh, you want to help students who are, let's say, entering into the university, you want to help them. You want to offer them a solution to overcoming this problem of learning online. All right. Now I notice I'm looking at the spreadsheet and it looks like your audience are the adults, teachers, and students. Who, who is going to be the target audience? From these three groups of people, who would benefit the most from hearing your solutions from this video? What do you think? If you had to choose one group of people. Oh, I think it's students from OA. Okay. Students. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's just focus on the students. You're, you're talking to students who are attending the university. Okay. Now, what kind of solutions do you want to offer students of the university? Right? So... So try to think about that and um, <clears throat> try to think about like how many problems, what, what is the problem that you want to talk about? How would you explain it? What do you think? So we will tell some problems and then we will tell uh, solutions from those problems. Yes, you, it could be one problem or it could be two problems or it might even be three problems. Okay, you, it could be one problem and then you all talk about solutions to that problem, right? It's up to you. I think probably no more than three problems, right? You could also, each one of you, choose a problem and a solution. That's another option. It's just, it's up to you. It's up to you guys decide how you want to introduce the problem or problems, but try to focus more time on the solutions than on the, the problem. Does that, does that make sense? Okay, teacher. All right. So maybe talk a little bit more about it. And when you're ready to do your video or you've, you've decided on specifically the problem and the solutions, let me know and we can talk again about uh, what you're thinking. All right? Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you. Okay, teacher, teacher yes. I have a question. Yes. So we have to upload in the morning 
of Friday the video or we have all day of Friday to upload it? You'll have all day on Friday to upload. So if you need more time after class tomorrow, uh, you'll have more time. Okay, you teacher, can. thanks. Okay. All Thank right. you. Bye, guys. Bye. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? Oigan, ay, bueno, no. <laughs> Hello, Team 12. Hello. Hello. Did you guys have a question? Yes. 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 Um, we're going to present some apps for you with um, our friends. So we have a do, a do, do that, <laughs> about the rights of the of the apps, we can use it in a video. Are you planning on publishing your video privately or publicly? Privately. All right, so there's no worries about rights because you're not going to publish your video publicly. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to worry about licensing or any of those things. And honestly, even if you published publicly uh, there's no problem sharing apps it's more the problem is more like with pictures and video and music and and documents that are that are that are published under uh, all rights reserve that's you know so um, yeah you can share apps with no problem oh, okay Thank but you. we can we can show um, some photos or um, I don't know mm, we can show some photos about the, the apps yes yes you can if your video is going to be private then you can show just a, you know pretty much anything you know it, there's no problem okay. the, the problem is when you want to publish your video publicly okay. then that's when we have to be careful with images but um yeah don't worry about it if you're if you're gonna publish privately like you're, if you're not gonna publish publicly then you don't need to worry about uh, those images okay. Thank you. any other um, questions how are you guys coming together with your problem and solution Do you have any other questions about putting together your video? Mm, no, I think that was the only question. Because our, our problem is um, that teenagers can't um, see their friends, you know, like going out with their friends and we wanted to share different apps that for example we use in our quarantine to spend time with our friends but through internet all right so the problem is uh young adults students feeling stressed or feeling depressed right because they're alone yes. and how many solutions will you present in your video and who how will you present them who's going to present what have you decided no <laughs> okay all right so think about the solution or solutions I, i'm assuming you're going to have more than one solution and maybe each you know maybe an one app is a solution or maybe you have two or three solutions for with one app you know what i mean so there, there are a lot of different ways that you can do this but this is what I would like for you to tell me before you create the video how many solutions do you want to present as a team and who's going to present the different solutions and in your case you know which apps are involved in those solutions alrighty yes okay. any, any other questions guys no. No. All right. Well, let me know when you're when you've decided, and uh, we can talk talk again. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you.
conversations are the new lead. So I'm gonna show you how to add a live chat to your website and we're starting right now. If you wanna transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. First of all, the completely automated version tends to be a lot more expensive. Second of all, it can get complicated really fast when you're relying on a lot of pre-programmed questions and answers, and it gets confusing and you're likely to really just give up on the whole process. But to me, the biggest reason is the automated version uh, really gets rid of the human connection and the human element, which I think is a huge missed opportunity. When they're actually researching you, you can shorten the sales cycle dramatically. <clears throat> Go ahead and uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just sign up for it. And then I'm gonna log into my account. Okay, so here I am logged in and at first it's gonna ask you to name the Hi teacher. Hello guys. Are you ready? Mm, yes. <laughs> Okay, so what are you thinking yeah, about how you want to present your problem and uh, your solutions? So we chose three problems and then we tell three solutions from those. All right, so who is going to present which problem, who's going to present which solution, and what's the order? I'm going to start the presentation. I'm going to do the introduction um, and slogan. Then Carlos, I'm going to say the first problem. And Maria and me going to say the, sol the solution of that problem. All right. And uh, is it just one problem and various solutions, or will you have more than one problem? We have three problems. All right. So, Carlos, are you going to talk about all three problems? No, I, I, I just explained the first problem, the first problem, and then Diana and Maria solutions, and with the second, I give the solution with Diana. Okay, so who's going to introduce the second problem? Me. Okay. And then uh, Maria de la Cruz and Carlos will talk about the solutions to your problem, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's right. And then go ahead, uh, Maria. Will you introduce I'm a... going to explain the mm -hmm. trip problem. Okay. And then Carlos and Aira will talk about solutions to your problem, right? Yes. Yes, yes that's right. Okay. I like that. That sounds like a good idea. Um, anything else uh, you want to share or any other details to your video that you want to share or questions? No, teacher. I think that's it. All right. We'll have some time in class tomorrow. And so, depending on your schedules, maybe you can record uh, in class tomorrow. Are, okay, teacher. Are you guys going to share your screen? How are you going to present information to your audience for the video? Yeah, I'm going to do a PowerPoint presentation, and I'm going to share my screen. All right. Are you going to show your uh, your faces during the presentation? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> All right. Any other questions, guys? Sounds good. What you have? What you have prepared? Any other doubts? No, teacher. 
So we can edit the video on Teams. So I don't know who who do I can edit the video on Team. I don't know idea. All right. Um, I'll tell you what. Let me. Uh, we're gonna finish class here in about three minutes, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, a software package that you can use. Okay. And if you don't want to use the software package that I talk about, which allows you to edit videos, um, let me know. Uh, there are many video editing software packages out there for free. Um, but uh, let me, let's talk about it here at the end of today's class. And then if uh, I might see if I can go online and search for more video editing softwares. All right, but I want to ask everybody to see if anyone else has some suggestions or experience using other uh, video software that we can talk about together as a, as a whole class, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, guys, sounds good. Uh, we'll talk here in a, a few minutes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Bye, guys, thanks. Bye. <clears throat> All right, guys, uh, it's almost 9.40. So we'll wait just a few more moments while folks come back so that we can go ahead and close the class. Let's see how many folks we have back. Okay, 25. Looks like many of you are back. I'm sharing my screen now, and uh, to close today's session, um, tomorrow our video is going to be uh, due, okay? So this week we need to try to finish our video that we're working together with our teammates, and we also need to allow time to finish our um, our podcast, our third episode for our podcast. I'm going to give you guys time tomorrow in class to do both, to do um, if you need to work on your uh, video with your teammates, you can take time tomorrow to do that. If you need time also to complete your third episode for your podcast, you can also do that. Plan your time accordingly. If you need more time, you need to meet outside of class as a team to Spend more time, depending on what it is you're preparing, then you need to plan accordingly, okay? Now, I mentioned that to create the video, I'm suggesting that everyone record their meeting, just as, as we've done, that we almost do daily. Um, create a video, sharing your screen. Some of you are using PowerPoint presentations, that's fine. Some of you might be just showing websites, depending on what it is you're, you're discussing. But go ahead and create the video by recording your meetings. Now, when you finish, you're likely going to need to edit your video because maybe you made some mistakes. Um, maybe you need to eliminate like dead space where no one's talking, depending on your performance. So I shared with you yesterday a um, a video software. In fact, I think I shared with you OBS, but it's actually, I think I made a mistake. The actual video editing software that I want to share with you today is called Caden Live. Let me show you the website for that. Hopefully you can see my screen. It's called Caden Live. Yes. All right, thank you. Hayden live here. Let me. My computer's running a little bit slow because I'm actually editing a video. I'm actually editing yesterday's video, in fact. So my computer's running just a little bit slow. Running slowly. So let's give it a second. But this is. Mm, a... Ben, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, when we are recording the calls here in Teams, uh, if we forgot 
uh, before to hang up. If we forgot to stop recording, the call is not going to save. Uh, it's a good question. I don't know. Um, I think your best bet your, is just to check to see when you finish, go back to your group. Sometimes the cl the the class the 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 meeting will just be open and stay open. Um, but yeah, double check to see oh. if there's an option to download the the video when you finish. I'm not really sure. Okay. Teacher, I think yes, because one day it happened in my team and the recording yes, was set in the group. Okay, good, and good. So I, I think that's true too. I think that's the case. But yeah, just double check. Yes. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Now here, guys, this is the video editing software that I use. It's called Caden Live. It's open source, so it's free. You can download it on a Mac or a Windows computer or Linux. And it's it's fairly straightforward. Um, you know, maybe I, I will create a short tutorial today to explain just the basics of how to get around, how to use this software. Um, but... It's certainly an option for you to uh, edit your video. But I want to ask everyone else, what video editing software have you used? Can anyone recommend another service that you would recommend that's user-friendly, that's easy to use? Anybody have any other suggestions? I have two. Uh, f mm, for cell phone, one is is InShot, and the other one I don't remember remember the name. Let me see. InShot. I'm gonna type it in, or if you want to check, uh, Juana, if I have this correct, InShot, and you can find the other one if you want to upload it to the chat. I guess the question is, can you easily move the video from your computer? Because I'm, I'm assuming you're going to have access to the file on your computer. If you can move it into your phone and then edit mm. the video from there, is that, is that what? Yeah, I think that you can do it. I think. Okay. Yeah, if you want, uh, Juana, if you want to upload the, the other name of the video editing software, that'll be helpful. And the other is Movavi Clips. Movavi Clips. Cool. All right, thank you for sharing that. Anybody else have any other suggestions? Me, I have one. Mm, for a computer, is <clears throat> Filmora Go. All right. Can you type that into the uh, chat, uh, Jacqueline? Uh, Juana, are both of your apps, are those for the phone? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Filmora, Filmora Go. Okay. Let me see if I can search this. Anybody else have any suggestions? I I actually have a, a one to computer. It's called Film for. All right, can you type that also, please, in the uh, chat? Yes. Thank you. Anybody else? So is uh, Filmora Go, is that for the computer or the cell phone? It's para los dos. Okay. I 
I think I clicked here for the phone. Let me see if I can find the main, the home page. Film fourth. Okay, film fourth is for the computer. I think that she says that it's for both. No, it's well, I don't let it into my computer. All right. All right. Uh, any other suggestions, guys? Any other film editing software packages that you've used either for your phone or for your computer? Yeah, my computer is running really slowly right now, so I don't know if I can open up these web pages just to give you kind of a look. Maybe if you're online, you can do a search yourself. Um, surely one of these apps will work for us. We've got these three and then Caden Live. Actually, four. One, two, three, four options. And I'll create a very short video to show you Caden Live as well. And um, I'm sure there are a lot of YouTube videos that also explain all of these apps if they've been around a while. So let me just open up. I'm just curious what this is, looks like. Filmora. Okay, so here's the home page. All right, so take a look at that. Yeah, my, my computer's really slow. So um, let's go ahead and work with one of these uh, apps. And um, tomorrow we'll have time in class to, again, continue to work on our projects. I still want to... Uh, meet with each group before you decide to record your video. Uh, I would recommend when you're ready to do your presentation, I would try to, I would practice once. I would go through and go through the whole presentation once and I would re record everything, right? But go through it once, but go through it at least twice. Like go through it again a second time and then you can even decide if you want to tell me, uh, well, you you can edit the the both versions, right? But I would try to practice and and go through at least once or at least twice your presentation so that you have the practice and uh, you get used to presenting your your information. Remember that your video should focus more on the solutions than the problem. This is a problem solution video but we want to focus more on the solutions. We want to make sure that we're all presenting equally, that we're all speaking equally throughout the video as well. And just make sure to check the list, the checklist of things to include in your video as you're preparing. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today. Uh, we'll continue again tomorrow, finishing these two tasks. If any team wants to meet with me after uh, after class or outside of class, uh, let me know. I did receive one message. I uh, think, Nicole, if you want, we can schedule a time with your team uh, after 2 o'clock once you're finished with your classes for today, and we can discuss uh, anything we need to discuss. All right? So we'll go ahead and stop there for today. Uh, Nicole, if you want to stick around for just a moment, we can schedule a time and anyone else. Uh, but we'll stop there for today. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, Bye. 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 teacher. Bye, teacher. Hey, Nicole, are you here? Here. Okay. Okay. Would you like to schedule a time to meet with your team? Yes. All right. Please. What time? What time would you like to meet? Um, if you can, like two o'clock or after. Okay, two o'clock is fine. Um, what 
what team are you? What number? Uh, the 13th. 13. That's right. It's hard to remember you guys. Okay. The numbers. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to write you down here. Two o'clock. We'll meet with your team and we'll meet in Microsoft Teams, like always, right in. Uh, we'll create a, a meeting in, in your group as normal. Okay. And I'll, I'll see you guys at uh, two o'clock today. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. Anyone else have any questions or want to schedule time to get together outside of class? Hello, guys. Hi. Hi, teacher. Um, What's going on? So we have some questions. Okay. Um, the video that we are going to record, it's... Um, where in Teams, in YouTube, or in uh, Microsoft Teams. But we have to like record it in my cell phone, and I uh, upload it there. No, you can record it as a meeting, just as you record your your videos and all these meetings. It's the same idea. So if you have to present anything, you can present from your computer, share your screen. <laughs> And uh, just create the video just as you create videos each time that you're working with your group. And then you can download that video into some software to make final edits. If you want to make any final edits to the video, then you could use some software to make those final changes. Okay. And we recorded like the screen? Yes, the that's video. correct. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's for tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay. And I have another question. Mm -hmm. um, we have to record like um, practice or is not necessary? Well, okay. So what I would do is I would practice, all right? I would at least practice uh, delivering your video or making your video like twice at least. And I would record all of it, and then probably the last time that you do your your performance, that will probably be the, the best. And then you can edit the video and just include your final performance. So the final video doesn't need to include you practicing, but I would record all of your practice just so that you're comfortable with recording yourself while you give the presentation. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Any other questions, um, guys? I think I can put in, in pictures, right? Yeah, you can. Well, let me let me ask first. Are you going to create a video that you're going to share publicly or privately? Mm, I think privately. Okay, so if your video, if your final video is just going to be private, just for our class, then you can really include any pictures or images or websites that you that you want. Okay. Uh, and I don't I don't have more questions. Okay. All right. Well, mm -hmm. um, then uh, then I'll let you go and just let me know if you have any other questions tomorrow in class. We'll have more time to work on your your video and also if you need uh, um, it, yeah it's for tomorrow all day or in the morning no i'll give you all day so if you need more time after our class you'll have the rest of the day to complete the video oh, okay okay yeah thank you teacher. all right you're welcome guys you. talk to you later bye thank you. bye, -bye. bye. <clears throat> Hello, Susanna. Hi, teacher. Did you have any questions? Yeah, yes, we want to present you our um, our text for our presentation. Okay. To see if you like it or if we can 
improve something. Okay, tell me, tell me about it. Yes, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. But, um, You can see my screen? Yes, I can see it. Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. So, I don't know if there... Wait. <clears throat> if we can wait a moment. There he is. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Fer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, <clears throat> so why don't you tell me, um, you don't have to give the whole presentation, just kind of explain uh, what, what you're going to present and who's going to present. Oh, okay. This is like um, the presentation of the team, the team anti COVID, uh, the members, and the uh, slogan. Okay. And then we put the problem i where's the i i forget recording the yeah go ahead and record if you mm -hmm. want uh if you want to i i don't know it's with, ah yes yeah and we put the situation oh. Do you want to say something, sir? Okay, do you, it oh, looks like you have yes. the word money um, twice. Is that... Can you repeat it, teacher, please? It looks like oh, you have yes. the word money twice. Is that... Do you want the word in there twice? I, yes. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, I might check that. So who's going to introduce the problem and and then who's going to talk about the solution? Is it, uh, have you thought about that? Um, we, we, I don't know how to say repartimo. Uh, okay, we, are right, you divided up the presentation? Yes. Yes, yes. yes we divided our presentation and we are going to participating uh, frequently in each uh, like uh, part of the video okay each slide yes for each part okay so what comes after the situation target opens. all right so let me after let me give you a suggestion about uh, about the target audience um, it's not necessary to include a slide called target audience if you talk directly to the target audience, right? Okay. So I think in this particular case, I think that if you're speaking from the beginning to students at the university, then I don't think you need a slide because it's going to be obvious. It's going to be clear to whom you're speaking because you're going to be speaking to them, all right? Probably throughout the presentation, right? So 
Um, I think, you know, we talked a lot about having a target audience, and that's important, but perhaps it's not necessary to include a, a, a slide for, for this, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then we are going to talk about the purpose. So this is... All right, so you're going to talk about the situation first and then the purpose. Yes. All right. Okay, the next slide. The role that we are going to have in front of this situation. All right, so the role, if you think about the role, I th the role and the audience are directly related. So your audience are going to be the university students. Your role, I think this is similar to your target audience. You can make it clear just by speaking, just by mentioning who you are, who you are as a, as a team, right? So... Maybe you can say, and you can, you know, you can make this up. You can say, you know, you're a committee or you're responsible. You as a team are responsible for providing this information to university students. And I feel like this is part of the purpose, right? What's the purpose? Why are you presenting this? And within that purpose, you can mention who you are and to whom you're speaking. So I think purpose, you can include the role in the audience, mention it within your purpose slide. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Introduction. Okay, so... Introduction is like... Uh, go ahead. Uh, in the introduction, we start to describe uh, the problem. Uh, for example, we start like, uh, you know, the impact that the pandemic is having in this ambit. And then we can say like, uh, the last year a new virus appeared in China and all the stuff. Um, okay, let me, let's think about this. So the this slide you're going to talk about the problem um yeah no well we are going to start and uh, like introducing the um, the people to say what is the coronavirus for that we mentioned that the last year a new virus appeared in china and yes i don't know if you understand me Right. Because and, mm -hmm. and it is a uh, know. Go ahead. No, yes. <laughs> we we said the the problem here. All right. I so think, yeah, maybe I, maybe you call this the the problem. I I don't think you need a slide that's called introduction. I think I would just focus on the order, the organization of ideas, and just go one to the next. And uh, I don't think we need a slide called introduction. It sounds like this is the problem. Okay. So I don't know. What do you think? It. Yeah. So um, we change this slide for a problem slide. I would, uh, yeah, change the title. Maybe you can change it to the problem. And in your, your bullets, your list, try to simplify, try to include less words, right? Maybe you talk about all of these things, but maybe simplify and maybe try to use less words in your list. Okay. All right, and you know, instead of uh, bullet points, it could be just a short statement, a short sentence, and then you you talk more and more detailed about the problem. Okay. Okay. 
And we put this image to refer work a job to says that Mexico about the pandemic. Okay. All right, All right, so this is still part of the problem, correct? Yes. Okay, next slide. It is about people who has um, uh, bueno. here, we use, here we use this image to refer like uh, to people who lost their job, but that jobs are informal. To explain something like that. All right, yeah. so what I would suggest on each of your slides is to have a, a heading that generalizes what that slide is. <laughs> Can you yes. In each slide, I would suggest that you include a heading, un titulo, for each slide. Okay, sure. Right, just to keep it clear what each slide uh, represents, what, what's the idea, right? Okay. And then, uh, the government help people in this situation. Because in many countries, the government is helping the, the people. Okay, next slide. Okay, uh, let's see. Next slide. Okay, can you... Can you tell me or show me the slide where you start talking about the solutions? Here. Yes, here. Uh, here we start to uh, like to introduce our, our so, uh, Explaining that we have been analyzing the situation and that we have uh, been uh, thinking about some ideas to to solution it. And the uh, first uh, idea is like undertake. All right. So how many? How many problems are are you addressing? One problem, or more than one problem? What's what's the name? What's the problem? In is it in your own words? Is it one main problem, or are you talking about more than one problem? Mm, no, we are talking about only one problem. That is uh, that the parents of many students uh, lose their jobs so they didn't have enough money to um how to say it? to to pay the pay. university yes so the solution is that they start to undertake a new business and like with that they can have more money all right, so it's one problem, and you're going to introduce one solution to that one problem? Is that right? Yes. Yes. All right, so what I would suggest is in this first slide, um, I, would, I would not list all these words. I would list maybe a short phrase or maybe the, the image is okay, um, but just to say one thing, like to start a business, just to make it clear, when you introduce the problem, this first slide, it's just about starting a business, right? 
and then go to the next slide or the the next slides and organize you know how you want to uh, discuss the business here's what i would suggest for the problem the first part of your presentation and the solution the second part of your presentation think very carefully about the question words for each so for example the problem think about okay what the problem is and this is just an example what the problem is how the problem originated or why the problem is important when is it or where is it a problem think of the question words and how you organize your ideas for the problem then in the second part of your presentation do the same thing think of the question words small business all right so what kind of small business or small businesses if more than one are you suggesting Number two, how should students create their own business? Why should they create their own business? Think about the best order to present your solutions. Right? A lot of times it's, better, it's best to present why it's important to begin a business before you talk about how so the audience is hooked. They say, oh, okay. This is why I need to do this. Now tell me how. Right? For example. Okay. So think yes. of, think about organizing yes. your ideas. I think you have your or, your ideas here. Just take another look at how you're organizing your ideas and be really um, deliberate. Be you know make a, the best decision about how you want as a team to organize it. Then you can decide later. Who's going to talk about which slide or how you're going to uh, deliver or speak during the presentation? But I think you have a lot of good ideas. Um, can we, I'm sorry, can we go back in the slides just to look at the last few slides? Yes. Just to see what you have for your solutions. Here's another. Okay, so the next slide. Let's see. So, all right, so be careful with um, listing bullet points. Bullet points are what you're including here. Um, sometimes it's best to avoid bullet points. Sometimes it's best not to include bullet points. Maybe you have a short phrase maybe you have um, just an image or a couple of images right and instead of solution the word solution maybe you talk about some aspect for example how how to create a business or how to start a business right that could be a heading instead of solution because you're going to have several slides okay. i think that talk about the solution. So you can be yeah. more specific in the headings of your different slides in order to talk about what aspect of starting a business you want to talk about. Again, think of the question words. How do you do it? Why do you do it? Where do you do it? With whom do you do it? Are, are there governmental opportunities? Et so on and et cetera. Maybe some technologies that you could talk about. Just depends on, you know, what you want to say. Try to speak as much as possible about the solutions. Try not to spend too much time on the problem. Right? I would try to spend more time on the solution than on the problem. Okay. Okay. All right. The next slide, just to take a look at the rest of the slides. You can see the next or the same. The same. Me the same. 
Is this the yeah. last slide? No. This game. It's the same. Ah, I... it's the same slide. Okay. Yeah. So my... yeah, my general that would be my general uh, suggestion, right? To try to focus more on the solution. Try to think of the question words on how you organize your ideas. Try to uh, use the the titles of each slide to represent the main message that you want to discuss in that slide. And try to avoid overusing bullet points, like a lot of, you know, bullet points like in this slide. Yeah, like this is a good slide. This is, and now maybe you have too many images, right? It depends on um, each each slide should convey a message, right? A specific message. So be careful with the images and the headings, so that the slides help you deliver your message. Think of these slides as like uh, note cards. It's like so you're saying, okay, entonces con este dispositivo qué voy a decir? Entonces it should be very clear to you and the audience, okay, ahora vamos a hablar de esta cosa. Así, tiene que ser así muy obvio en las imágenes y el título de cada dispositivo, cuál es el mensaje en general de este dispositivo. Right? So, okay. take another look and let these slides help you really convey the main message of each slide as you progress throughout your presentation. Okay. All right, you've got a lot of good Thank ideas. You. Just uh, keep working, talking to each other. Here we go, services, I'm sorry, go back. Services and products. All right, services and products, all right? So, you know, maybe, maybe you have one, um, you know, it depends on um, how do I say this? So it's best to try to speak more deeply about less things. So there might be, you know, I would say like washing cars, one slide on washing cars, for example. Ya desde ahí hablar de qué y cómo y cuándo, por ejemplo. Y luego siguen con the beauty shop. Qué es, cómo es, por qué. Pero un dispositivo nada más de beauty shop. Ya siguen con repairing cell phones. ¿Qué es? ¿Cómo es? ¿Por qué? Un ejemplo. O algo así, ¿no? Pero vas a hablar así como un poco más. Y tal vez, maybe you say, no, but I'm just going to talk about washing cars and the beauty shop. Pero voy a hablar un poco más detalle de, de estos dos servicios. Right? Yes, Same way with yes, products. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Describe more the service. Mm, no, not necessarily. Este fue nada más un ejemplo. Si ustedes quieren enfocar más en los productos, adelante. Oh, okay. Mi punto es hablar. Yo prefiero que ustedes están más hablando más detalle de menos cosas. En este caso. Okay. Tal vez en lugar de como siete, como tienes un siete, una lista de siete cosas ahí, tal vez mencione tres. Y ustedes deciden, vamos a hablar de servicios o productos, los dos, uno u otro. Pues ustedes de deciden. Pero mi punto es, tal vez puedes desarrollar un dispositivo de cada servicio y o producto. Para enfocar un poco más, oh, para okay. tener un poco más impacto en cada ejemplo de un tipo de negocio que estás proponiendo. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Yo prefiero que están hablando un poco más detalle de menos cosas. Es lo que me refiero en, en este ejemplo. And, yes. noti yeah. and notice here, when you have servicios primero y productos, aquí tienen productos y luego servicios. Pues hay que pensar cómo, cómo vas a presentar las ideas que está un poco más uniforme entre la manera, la orden de ideas que están compartiendo. ¿Verdad? Sí. Yes. 
Okay, son detalles, pero va a tener más impacto en el producto final, en tu video final. ¿Verdad? Yes. Okay, the next uh, dispositivo, next uh, slide. Ok, creo que tienen mi punto, ¿verdad? Como yes. tienes un montón yes. de buenas ideas, la verdad. Pero yes. we don't want to confuse the audience. Keep it simple. Sometimes less is more. Right? So I would rather you guys talk more in detail about fast food. Como uno o dos minutos nada más hablando de, de donuts or hamburgers or, or whatever. Right? And okay. next slide. Yes. Um, we put this image on this title because in a part of the of our text we mentioned that um, you don't have to be worried about the situation and you can talk with your fathers or with your teachers to tell her tell them your situation and they can comprehend you good i i like this idea uh, maybe the title can be something like um share your concerns or uh talk to others about your situation or um yeah uh, share your concerns talk talk about your concerns with others right but that this is a good slide i i think this is a good idea right next slide um mm, i don't know if my classmate wants to say uh, <laughs> yes we create this um this is light because we also add in the solution in the solution that if a person that is not affected by the situation but is seeing it is watching this video can help the people who is undertaking uh, by like promocionando his products or her service their services in social and redes sociales All right, so let me ask a question. How important is social media to the solution that you're offering? How important uh, is it? Is it really important or just slightly important? Yeah, it's really important. Because if you're not going to talk about social media until the very end, you're saying to the audience, it's not really important. It's, it's not that important. However, if you're saying, yes, it's a really important social media and how you create a, a business, then maybe you talk about social media throughout your solutions. That is, maybe a little bit in each slide, you talk about maybe one type of social media or one way of social media that works best for fast food or repairing phones or et cetera, right? So see the difference between one way is talking about social media at the very end, not mentioning anything about Instagram or WhatsApp until the very end versus Uh, talking about WhatsApp and Instagram and YouTube and Twitter and Facebook all the way through because maybe, you know, the social media is different the way that you will conduct the business in your different solutions, right? It just depends on what you want to say. So talk again about it as a team and decide how you want to present social media In, as part of your solutions because for me this answers the question how how do you start a business repairing phones maybe social media is part of that solution right instead of leaving it at the very end it just depends it just depends on how important this is okay okay
Uh, next slide. That's the last. We put it because uh, here we're going to say the conclusion of the of the project. All right. Together we, we are stronger. All right. Very good. And is this the yes. last slide? Um, yes. Good. Yeah, I really like your presentation. I think you guys have a lot of good ideas. I think you actually have too many good ideas. I think you'd be better off deciding on what's the most important solutions that you want to share. Maybe talk a little bit less about the, the problem, right? To give you a little bit more time to talk about the solutions just by what I'm seeing here today. But talk about it. Um, you've got a lot of good visuals, but sometimes less is more. Sometimes less words or less images has a bigger impact when you're uh, giving a presentation. And I would be careful with the titles of each slide, again, to uh, share the message of each of your slides. Okay, teacher. All right. Yes. Very Thank good. You, any yes. other questions guys um we are going to have tomorrow class to record our video or all the day well i'm going to give everyone all day in class tomorrow to record your video but if you need more time i'm going to give everyone all day to complete the task because we have two tasks that we need to try to complete tomorrow. One is our video, this video that we're talking about today. And the second is your third episode for your podcast. So I would take advantage of class time tomorrow to work with your teams to try to, do, to finish as much as possible with your video, right? And then you can, can, you, you can record your podcast, you know, I, you know, later if you want. It, it just depends on how, how far you, you get with with your work. Okay, but I'm going to give everyone all day tomorrow to complete both tasks, the video, the group video, and your podcast episode. Okay, sure. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. No, DJ. Thank you so much. You're welcome, guys. A really good job. I like what you have here, and uh, I look forward to seeing your final uh, video. If you guys have any other questions, of course, let me know, and we can also uh, talk tomorrow in class. Yes, Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.